If you want to build a culture, especially in the NFL, you've got to win, period. W's and L's. In my 28 years, this is the most competent front office ever. Brad Holmes is already the greatest GM in yeah. the franchise history. And yeah, that's he sad. is. When's the last time they've had draft capital? When's the last time they've moved up in the draft? Is the head coach and the quarterback capable of taking the next step? I think they can, but it doesn't matter if I think they can. They have to. My question to you. Are the Lions finally building a winning culture? And not only is are they building it, but is it actually time for fans to believe in it? Because we've, we've seen this yeah. throughout the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Doesn't matter. It's all just a facade, right? New guy comes in, there's hope, and it goes back down to reality right away. But is this time actually different? And should Lions fans be hopeful? I think Lions fans, they, they deserve to be hopeful. I, I just think if you look at past times, and, and, and with G, whether it's Jim Caldwell or, or Jim Schwartz, you have these, you know, uh, I guess, years where you, you do make the postseason and Lions fans are bought in. They love it. They're, they're having the time of their life. And then what happens after that is what makes this the situation even worse. So for Lions fans, it's not about buying in because I think everyone's pretty much bought in on Dan Campbell and, and what Brent Holmes is building. It's just really understanding that if you want to build a culture, especially in the NFL, you've got to win, period. So I get you could be hopeful, you could be bought in, you can like what they're doing, but I'm telling you right now, all Lions fans should base their belief on this regime on W's and L's. That That's the end of it. So for me, personally, you can like Dan as the person. You can like Brad as the person, and I love the job they've both been doing. I love how Brad's been approaching the draft, approaching free agency. But the end-all, be-all is winning football games. And I think that's that's what fans have to understand because it's easy to get those two things mixed up. You, you, people buy in and, and I guess you could say drink the Kool-Aid, have the Lions coming out winning 10 games, winning 11 games, whatever it is. But the reality is, is they have to prove it. I mean, this is a team that won three games last year and didn't have a win through, what, nine, 10 weeks of the season. So there's a process to this. But I think for Lions fans, I think they're just partially scarred from the past of making the postseason – and then after that, going backwards. And I think with Dan, you're hopeful that he does not do that. This year you win six, seven, eight games. The following season you make the postseason. And then hopefully after that, you can sustain that type of success where you're making postseason runs, you're making the playoffs, having a chance every single year, rather than going, you know, six and ten, or it'd be seven and ten now, and then just kind of regressing after making the postseason. So it's up to Dan Campbell. I think he he's going to be set up to succeed with the talent around him. Brad Holmes, I believe, will continue to surround him with talent, bring in good football players, especially on cheap contracts like he's been doing through the draft. But again, it depends, Adam. Do they make the postseason in two years? What do they do after that? Because then you could be fully bought in. Right now, I like what they're doing. But to say I'm completely bought into what's going on, I got to see it play out in the football season. Fair enough. Uh, look, I'll, I'll let me rephrase the question a little bit. Right? Are they building a winning culture? Not only is it time to believe, or is it just another joke and we're going to be freaking out about this team two years from now and laughing at them? I think now, and I'm only going to go based on my lifetime, I'm not going to go pre-1994. I'm just not going to do it. It's not my history. I understand it, but it's not my history. And I'm going to speak from my perspective. In my 28 years, this is the most competent front office ever. And it's not even close. Brad Holmes is already the greatest GM in yeah. the franchise history. And that's yeah, he sad. is. He is. You have people advising him like John Dorsey and I think from a front office standpoint you absolutely believe in this team but what question marks do we have what unknowns do we have right now well is Jared Goff a franchise quarterback I'm confident in saying he's not but that doesn't mean he can't be pretty damn good right that doesn't mean he can't play to the level of a Kirk Cousins or a Derek Carr which you can win with by the way and who's your head coach? All right, so look at the Bills and the Rams right now. I want you to give me a grade on ownership, GM, head coach, quarterback. You ready? Start with the Bills. Ownership. It's an A. GM? I'd say it's an A. Head coach? As of right now, yeah, it's an A. Quarterback. And then you know the answer to that last question. And it, it, Rams it, ownership. A. Rams they buy GM. in. I, a. Coach. 
A. GM. A. All right. Got to check Let's all the boxes. Let's play the game now, right? Those are the top two teams in the NFL, according to me and you. Right. Let's play the game with the Lions. Ownership? Um, better. I would say C plus, B minus. I, I, I wouldn't go anywhere near B, but I would say C, C plus is fair. C plus, okay. okay. We'll go with that. Front office? Uh, a. Early, I think, but I would say B. B I guess plus. you to see the progress. Right? B plus. I would say I'll B, say B A plus. just because I like what they're doing. I, but uh, they haven't made I any agree. significant moves I yet. I do agree. They though. haven't made any significant moves yet. I so. can't knock you for it. I'm I'm in love with what Brad Holmes is doing, but still. Head coach. Uh, C minus. How do you grade him? Yeah, it was. If a, you grade him based off the wins, you're going to give him an F. If you give give players him an not overall quitting grade, on him. I would say a C minus. C. Yeah, C minus. I would go with. Okay, and then quarterback. C. C. Average. See the difference? Yeah. The Rams and the Bills. A, 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 A. The Lions. C minus. Yeah. B, B plus. C minus. C? No, you're right. I mean, it's a good way to put it. That's the difference right now. So, yes, you can buy into what they're doing. You absolutely should. But you have to have a little perspective this morning. Because... The talent will be there two years from now. I'm very confident Brad Holmes will have this team clicking on all cylinders. The cap will be addressed. You'll have talent. You'll be able to bring in free agents. You'll be able not to worry about first-round picks. You won't even need them at one point. I believe in the Brad Holmes model right now. That I'm bought into. But is the quarterback right now, the wide receiver, are they all there for you to contend? Is the head coach there? I don't know, right? Right? And if I don't know something yet, yes, your job is to project and, and say, hey, they could get there or they will be there. That's fine. You can have that opinion. But, Jeff, I have him as seven wins this year. Okay, so he goes from a C-minus head coach to a C, C-plus, going into his third year. Because context matters. Right? If, yeah. If and then going into the third year, you'd expect them to contend for the division. And if they do... But they don't win it. Well, then he's a BB plus head coach. That's not a bad thing. But that's like the progression that this team has to take. And I think you have to buy into it. I really do. I really do. I think this is the easily the best culture they've had in my lifetime. Easily the best front office they've had in my lifetime. Easily the most maneuvering or the best maneuvers I've seen a front office do in my lifetime. When's the last time they've had draft capital? When's the last time they've moved up in the draft for a position that people actually wanted? Right. Where they've had fortune, where Penny Sewell falls to them at seven, where Aiden Hutchinson falls to them at two. And I, it's I, all happening now. It's just, is the head coach and the quarterback capable of taking the next step? I think they can, but it doesn't matter if I think they can. They have to. They don't have a choice. Because they'll be out of town sooner than they know it if they can't. And Brad Holmes knows this because the Minnesota Vikings GM prior to the new one who's in charge. Spielman was a damn good GM. Made all the right personnel moves. Made some good signings. Some great draft picks. Great value. But you know what he didn't do? He didn't get the head coach. didn't get the quarterback right. And never got a head coach that could elevate his quarterback. Right. Key mistake. Brad Holmes eventually is going to have to answer that bell. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe these two work out together. But that's the future. That's the reality with this team. Mm -hmm. And for Dan Campbell, he has something that Jim or Jim Schwartz, Jim Cole or Jim Schwartz didn't have, and that's Brad Holmes. So he's got everything out. He's got everything for him set up to succeed, but it's up to Dan Campbell ultimately, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. Absolutely. I want Brad Holmes making those decisions. We sure uh, – wait, excuse me. I'm going to try to read this comment correctly. We sure don't know, but Gra Brad is a good hire, but he deserves his own coach. So, Rob, ye sure, I would agree, but you don't know what Campbell is yet. And I'm not a fan of getting rid of a coach until I know what they are. Right. So, yeah. how do you get rid of Dan Campbell before you know what he is? If he goes out and wins you two games this year with that team and that schedule... You, then you can have a conversation. Yeah, you're looking at Hugh Jackson. That's not a good thing. Joe Judge. And nobody yeah. wants him on their team. So... Mm -hmm. Like I said, it, it ends, it starts and ends with win, wins and losses. So we'll see. It, it'll take care of itself. We'll, we'll know more after this season. This season will clear a lot of things up for us. All Lions fans. Fair enough. Well, 